Andy Mogul. Hey Andy Mogul, Zach Finfrock here for our second Mogulween episode. And to continue our zombie theme, we're going to do a impaled through the chest effect. We've shown you how to do impaled effects before on backyard effects, but nothing like this. This particular effect is going to be a pole sticking through the chest on both ends, and then it's going to be secure enough so it doesn't wiggle around when you're not moving, so it truly looks like a solid object right through your actor. Let's find out how much this is going to cost. Hey, puppets, uh, that's a human hand. Why do you... Just spin the wheel. Th thanks. Uh. A hatchet, or a pipe cutter, two pieces of PVC pipe, quarter inch aluminum rod, an old belt, Dremel, and silver spray paint. This build's difficulty level is... Four. Simple time now! Woo! The first thing you want to do for this build is take the main piece, which is the quarter inch aluminum rod, and bend it into the shape you need for this effect. What I did was I first bent the corner of it, which will be the front part of the vest. Then I bent it over and around in a U shape, so it went over my shoulder, and then another right angle bend for the back. This way, when you put the PVC pipe on, it'll look like it's going straight through your chest. The leather belt itself is there to hold that U-shaped metal piece on your body. All you do is just strap it around so it holds on tight. Once you have that done, you want to cut the PVC pipe pieces so they fit onto the rig. After you get pieces the right length that you want them, you want to take either the hatchet or dremel and cut little notches into the PVC pipe pieces. This way, when you put them onto the metal piece, they kind of latch on themselves and you don't have to worry about having them permanently attached. Then, once that's done, you want to take a longer piece of PVC pipe and line it up with the rig so you can create the prop that you're going to use for the scene for the stabbing. Then you want to take the back piece for the rig and the prop piece itself and make sure you have an angle cut on both so it makes sense when you want to stab somebody. The last step for this is you're going to want to add some silver spray paint so it looks like a metal pipe. Next you want to make sure the effect works. So take a t-shirt you want to test for the effect, put the rig on over it first, then mark little areas where you want to cut the holes. Then take the t-shirt off, cut the holes and then put the t-shirt on over the rig and see if the effect works. Then you're done. Now if you want to get creative, you can use this episode mixed with techniques from previous Impalement VFX episodes to use maybe a sword or a sharp piece of glass or something that's not just a metal pole. That is strange, my friend. Very strange! <laughs> And that's it for our second Mogulween episode. Tune in tomorrow, either on IndieMogul.com or YouTube, for our second Mogulween test film. And leave a comment below and let us know how you think we're doing on Mogulween! Bye. Whenever pouring fake blood or any other substance on the actor's face, make sure you have a rag and some water handy, because that stuff can burn.